Hey, you guys. Did you know that our good, good girlfriend, Stacey Abrams, is a book author? Yes. She wrote Never Tell under her pen name, Selena Montgomery, and I read it. Y'all want to hear about it? Here it goes. Show me the intro to your book review. Right. <laughs> So listen, Stacey Abrams is a politician, a lawyer, a voter rights activist, and honey, a author. You know how people talk about black girl magic? Yeah, uh, Stacey Abrams is black girl magic. I'm really glad that I get to talk about this book as we close out Black History Month and we usher in Women's History Month. Because even though what Stacey Abrams is doing currently is relevant now, it'll be relevant for years to come. Sis is making history. And she's writing some good books too. Never Tell was actually the ICU reading and social network book selection for the month of January 2021. Shout out to my amazing book club. You guys, I know that the... Background is looking real different from where I usually am, but that's because I just recently recorded a live video over on Facebook because I wanted to thank everybody that's been subscribing and watching my videos. And I figured, okay, let me go ahead and record now. And I'm not about to go back down into the boom boom room to do that. I'm just going to stay up here in the living room, okay? But since we're talking about subscribers and supporters, uh, yeah. Those numbers have been going up through the roof, people. I triple my numbers in one month's time, and I am so appreciative. So everyone that's watching this video right now, thank you so much for subscribing. Hopefully, you are hitting the thumbs up button and the notification bell so that you know every time that I upload a video. Now, about this book. This was a polarizing book for the club this month. Yeah, there was... Probably half that gave it, you know, like four stars. And then it was another half that was like, mm, you can get a hot two. Mm, actually, it was probably more people that gave it like a hot two than it was the people that gave it the four. I'll tell you guys what I gave it a little further one in the video. So Never Tell is a suspense thriller, okay? And the story talks about this woman who has this really really rough ugly past some folks end up dead and she is trying to forget about her past so she can recreate it her little self in the future but oh baby that hot past came knocking clean on her door and so now our main character Annalise slash Aaron is trying to figure out who then show back up in her current day life trying to interrupt all that she has going on. And of course, when you run in from a terrible past and you trying to stay low key under the radar, last thing you really be thinking about is a relationship, right? Well, child, this relationship was show thinking about her. So we got to have our suspense thriller and we got to have our romance. Now the book was real heavy on the suspense thriller and kind of light on the romance, which was not a problem for me because romance is just not really my my first love when it comes to novels anyway. So that didn't bother me at all. But definitely a whole lot of suspense, a whole lot of who done it, and it actually uh was not predictable. Thank goodness. Even with this romance portion of the book, it wasn't romantical, though. You know, like, borderline a little cringy. Like, Annalise's love interest, Gabe, right? His name Gabe. He didn't do it for me. Like, he ain't my cup of tea. He couldn't have got with Tim. I, mm -mm. No, sir. I got a man. No good thing gone well. I ain't got no man, but I'm going to tell you I got a man because I just don't want to be bothered with you. Annalise couldn't even lie, though. He knew she ain't had no man. She ain't had nobody. Poor baby. Because I told y'all, she running from her past. But fortunately, by the end of the book, 
as we suspected would happen, we are going to discover who this is that then came trying to shake up her world. And she may or she may not get with her boo thing, Gabriel. Now, a couple of things that we discussed in book club that remember I said things got a little polarizing with this book. Um, make sure that you have a dictionary readily available. Yeah, so uh, Miss Stacey Abrams, sis is highly educated, okay? And she uses all her big words in this here book, okay? I eventually had to stop highlighting words because I knew I had to look up some, but I just stopped eventually. I was like, listen, child. I done got me a good five years worth of Pee Wee's Playhouse word of the days, okay? So, <sighs> I was sad. And see, that works for me. I like stuff like that. Expand my vocabulary. Stretch me out in my intelligence, honey. I love it. But, I can understand how some people felt like it was too much. Like... <sighs> There's a lot of words that I ain't know in that book. And I like to consider myself a pretty well-read young lady. You know, I got a degree too. But it was it was a lot. And aside from all of the new words that I was learning, the one thing that definitely was agreed upon by everybody, whether you gave it a good rating or you gave it a bad one. And that was that it was too many daggone words. Sis was going up the street and down the hill and back around again in some of these pages. And um, it was unnecessary. And I'm all for being descriptive, okay? But don't confuse me. And I feel like that is something that we all kind of agreed upon. Like there were moments in the book where it was like, hold on, let me read that again. Cause I don't know that I interpreted all of what I was supposed to interpret from that. Um, so yeah, if I'm gonna give an honest opinion about how I felt, um, that would be it. Like, it was too many words. And another thing, I don't know if y'all saw like one of my little videos that I did and I talked about romances and how I don't necessarily like romances, but if I'm gonna read a romance, then I want it to be some <laughs> and how much of it I want it to be in the book. Which I know that uh they might have one 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 good scene. One, one, one. And then and they describe the getting to that part way more than they describe the... <laughs> and I guess maybe that is part of the whole, you know, spectrum of romance. But, I mean, okay. Whatever. You ain't gonna necessarily be sending no hey big head texts after you read this book. But you might peek around corners and watch your surroundings a little bit more. Something else that I noticed about the book, which wasn't anything good or bad, but just something that we observed about it when we were reading. And that was, we were not sure what the races were of the characters. Like, typically there's a whole lot of description about, you know, complexions and hair textures and you know, things of that nature. But mm -mm, I think we might have got a gray eyes on one of the characters a couple times. But for the most part, it was actually kind of difficult to identify what the races were of the characters in the book. And I'm wondering if that was on purpose. I feel like it was because they described everything else in grave detail but not the race 
So I feel like that was maybe on purpose, which I mean, don't bother me none. Um, but if you are somebody who has read this book, tell me what you think. Like you think that these people was, you know, black, white, Mexican, uh, biracial. You know, let me know what y'all thought. Or maybe y'all picked up on something that I didn't pick up on. I feel like right now would be a great time for me to remind you all to make sure that you have subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell so that you know every time I upload a video. So I bet you guys are wondering on which end of the spectrum I actually am on. Am I on the spectrum that didn't really care for the book that much? Or am I one of the people who thought it was a great read outside of all the words? Well, you guys, Tim Telling Tales gave Never Tell by Selena Montgomery for acrylic nails. <laughs> you guys, despite the wordiness, it was a really good book. It kept you interested in knowing what was going to happen through the entire thing. It expands your vocabulary for sure. And she's like a criminal psychologist. And so it delved into some really great areas that was intriguing to me. So I was a fan and I would read another book by her. So there you have it, you guys. Tim Telling Tales is giving Never Tell by Selena Montgomery a good review. Even though I know that it's going to be some folks in the book club that was like, <laughs> if you haven't read the book yet, it's cool. I'll make sure that I put a link to it down in the description area. And before I go, I just want to tell you guys a little something. I'm Tam. I'm telling tales. Read a book. <laughs>